Well, Danny, this is a sweet little car. This is a 76 MGB, right? That's correct. But she's had some work. A few modifications. A few, few yeah. modifications. <laughs> now, which, where'd you find this car? Well, I actually bought this car from an estate sale in uh, the town I'm from, and uh, it was drug off in the woods. Uh, the engine was gone, hood was gone, no interior. I paid $20 for the car and thought it'd be a, a good good project. You paid 20 bucks for this thing? 20 bucks. Wow. Well, you know, you've done some cool stuff like the, the headlights. Are those are those Mercedes or, or what are those? No, it's actually out of a late model Volkswagen Beetle. Man, well, you had to do some heavy mods. Yeah, it was just a little, little cutting, a little sheet metal work. Um, if you have a hammer, a weld machine, and some files, you can do much anything. <laughs> Maybe you can. Patience. You gotta have, patience. Gotta have that too. Yeah. And you got a little bit of a, a metal fleck in there, or what's your paint? Well, it's actually ice pearl. It's like metal flake, but it's called ice pearl. You put it in the clear coat, and in different um, shades of different angles of the sun, it changes colors. Yeah, because I get, I get some, some purple kind of fuchsia yeah, and some red yeah. in there. Usually in the late afternoon, you see the best colors, just the angle of the sun. Well, you know, you've uh, you've kept the original seats, right? Yes, sir. And kind of the seats. original layout, but man, you've really dressed up the interior. Um, I did change the dash. I put Dakota Digital Instruments in the clock, uh, installed air condition. Uh, but the the neat thing about it is I spray painted the the original dash with uh, with this tan, it's a vinyl paint. Oh yeah, yeah. And because uh, originally they were all black. Yeah, the and, one looks uh, great. It looks like it came that way from the factory, that vinyl dye, right? Yeah. yeah. I always wondered about that. It mm -hmm. works, huh? Works great. <laughs> it doesn't scratch off. This is painted also. Oh, you painted the, the, the cover back here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, how about the wood grain? That wasn't there. No, I, I bought some, um, some um, veneer and cut some sheet metal pieces and bent them to the contours, got them to fit, and just used adhesive to stick the veneer to the sheet metal and used adhesive to uh, install it in the car. Yeah, it just, it just looks great. You got a little, I like your mirrors. Are they just... What are they from? Oh, uh, they're aftermarket. Just aftermarket mirrors, mm -hmm. yeah. And you're, and uh, is this an aftermarket spoiler too? No, the spoiler is actually out of the junkyard. I got it off the back of an Acura, oh, and uh, just fit right on. No, I had to, <laughs> I had to to narrow it and and build the pylons. I built those out of fiberglass, and uh, it was a good bit of work to get that to to fit right. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I can't see seams or anything. I mean, that's, that's a beautiful job. And Thank it looks you. like you got, I mean, I like your wheels, but it looks like you got rear discs, and these didn't have rear discs, no, did they? No, no, uh, it's a narrow Camaro rear end that I, I'll put in the back. Um, I had to change the rear end because I put automatic transmission and I needed a different gear ratio. So uh, one thing leads to another. So, <laughs> how, so you had to narrow that Camaro down, Yeah, too. Just, just narrow the uh, rear end. Uh -huh. Man, you're a, you're a working fool, I gotta tell you. <laughs> now, that's what my wife says. <laughs> Do you still have the uh, the MGB engine in it? Uh, no, actually, I put a, a 2.8 GM engine out of a uh, S10. Oh, that's Chevy cool. S10. Let's have a look at that. Okay, now most people either love it or they hate it, but they won't forget the car with the green engine. Wow, that's got that has a green engine on it. Well, it's British racing green. Oh, is it? Okay, so <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course, it's an MG. Yeah. So it's a V6 actually. Yeah. So how'd she go in? Pretty easy or a lot it of work? Bolts right in with no, wow. no modifications. You don't have to alter anything to put this engine in, uh, into an MG. Well, and, and, and uh, does it, the rest of it marry up pretty well? Of course, you put an automatic in it and you change that rear end. Well, I changed the rear end. The automatic, uh, because I use a 700R4, I had to alter the, uh, the floor pan where it meets the floor mm -hmm. uh, and the tunnel. Just slightly, just to get a little clearance. And uh, I built the brackets for the alternator and the uh, air conditioning compressor just out of uh, scrap metal around the house gosh and uh again just a file weld machine and a lot of patience <laughs> yeah, that, well, you know that's that is key it's absolutely beautiful you took it you took an mg 76 mg and really made it a modern looking car yeah i wanted a dependable uh daily driver i've got air conditioning cruise control automatic um it's you good to go it. and I, I would take it anywhere now have you ever been to cruising the coast before first time really first time, i love it it's and what great. do you think of this ocean springs venue this is my favorite spot it, i've been to all of them but this is it's the really cool it is mm -hmm. well man you brought out a really sweet car i really appreciate it okay. 76 mgb but i'd never know it <laughs> <laughs>